says that uh, he and his mom don't see eye to eye on his love life, and he claims that his job has cost him several relationships. Please welcome Robert Faggot. Faggot is rather an odd name. Yeah, you know, it is yeah. an odd name. <laughs> well, damn. There you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire, your super duper Uber driver here, guys. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> you guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay, Doke Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Oh, before we get started, um, I went to my analytics and went to my dashboard, and lo and behold, I have 2,000 subscribers. Wow. wow. Wow, guys. I really appreciate you guys spending 10, 15 minutes with me, listening to this old man rant, and man, I wish I could say thank you 2,001 time to all my subscribers, but since I can't do that, thank you guys 2,001 times. All right. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So how was your weekend? Yeah. Good weekend. Yeah. We see what happened in the Middle East. The fireworks, the display of fireworks in the Middle East. Thanks to Israel and the Iron Dome they have. Now I have a, I have a question for all you pro Palestinian folks. All you Hamas supporters. All you college age students, especially in uh, Minnesota, Re Representative Ilma Olmar, who married her brother, <laughs> Representative Woman, uh, Congresswoman Rashid, Congresswoman mm. AOC, what is the talking point now? What provoked Iran to attack Israel? Uh -huh. hmm? Were they, un were they uh, oppressed? What's going on over there? Hmm? See, now they done took away your talking point. They done took the conversation away from you now. I see that we have some knucklehead students over here at the Golden State Bridge in San Francisco holding up traffic. I stay on these live pictures over the Golden Gate Bridge this morning because this has really been the scene for the past few hours out there. Imagine the frustration for the people that were actually just trying to just stop in their cars as they have been for hours now. As they were attempting to cross the Golden Gate Bridge, first southbound directions closed this morning, a little bit after 8 o'clock this morning, as protesters unfurled banners there. And then eventually the CHP closed down the northbound lanes of the Golden Gate Bridge as well. Okay, the pro Hamas folks, these little homegrown terrorists here holding up traffic. They're over here in Chicago over here, try to shut down the airport. We have some breaking news right now. A massive holdup for people looking to catch a flight out of O'Hare Airport this morning. Protesters have blocked all lanes of the Kennedy between Bessie Coleman Drive and the airport. Flyers are actually just walking to the terminal in order to make their flights. Chicago police and state police are there monitoring the situation. This is a look at some video of those passengers just walking to the terminals. We are told this is a sit down protest, but again, protesters blocking lanes of the Kennedy near O'Hare Airport this morning. What's the, what are we doing this for again? Yeah, this is kind of backwards, guys. Now, I remember seeing videos of of these um tower head guys and they'll chant death to America and all this good stuff, right? The worst part about that, they are here in our country thanks to Mr. Biden letting them in, and they are in classrooms teaching kids this rhetoric here. Let's go. I'm going to teach you a chant in Persian that you can use if you ever encounter those Zionist freaks, whether they be Iranian or whatever. All right? <laughs> we can get a Mar Bar Amrita. Yes, we can. Mar Bar Amrita! Mar Bar Amrita! Mar Bar Amrita! Mar Bar Amrita! 
Bar Israel. Mar Bar Israel. Mar Bar Israel. Mar Bar Israel. Mar Bar Israel. They're here now saying death to Israel and death to America and teaching them how to say that. Teaching them hate. What kind of protest is this? Most protests supposed to be about what? Nonviolence? Now they're here teaching kids how to be violent. This is why Imam Khomeini, who declared the International Day of Quds, this is why he would say to pour all of your all of your chants and all of your shouts upon the head of America. Death to America, homegrown. But of course, of course, they are peaceful protesters. Now, if you're a praying grandma, that's a whole different subject. Grandmother from El Paso County is facing federal prison time following her involvement in the January 6th riot at the Capitol. If you're a Christian, white male, that's a whole different subject. If you're a black Republican, like Mr. Harrison Floyd here. Of the 19 people indicted, he is the only one still in jail tonight. Now, many of you are asking a lot of questions about why that is. So he's the former director of Black Voices for Trump 11 Alive's Don White joins us in the studio. Uh, she's going to bring us just the facts tonight, Don. There's no way that I'm a flight risk, man. I showed up before the president this year. That was Harrison Floyd, one of 19 defendants indicted by Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis on RICO charges. We're answering two questions on why Floyd may still be in jail. This guy is part of Trump team who had disagreement about the elections. This black guy here, Fonnie Willis, put this guy in jail. The only one that went to jail, the black guy, of course. The other ones only took a picture. Mr. Trump took a picture. His, he took his fingerprint. But Harrison Floyd is the only one that spent time in jail because he's a black Republican. Now, again, if you're everything else, if you're everything else, it's a pass. If you're Black Lives Matter, you burn down your city, it's a pass. We're waking up this morning to devastation in Minneapolis. Peaceful protests transitioning into violence and looting. One man is dead and another is in custody after a shooting near the demonstrations. Some buildings up in flames, others seriously damaged. If you're Antifa, I call them Trantifa. If you burn down your block, if you, if you take a block over and nobody can pass except your folks, it's a pass. Can I ask why you're following me? Just to make sure you're not doing anything you don't need to be doing. What would that be? <clears throat> what are the orders you got? Welcome to Seattle's Autonomous Zone. This is what happens when protesters take over an entire city block, including a police station. But if you're an old blue haired lady who love your country and you vote Republican, they're gonna put you in jail. They're gonna besmirch you. They're gonna run you down. Only in America. The question of the day is, what provoked Iran to attack Israel this time? <clears throat> What's your talking point? Yeah, ass backwards. But anyway, we're going to get this right. We are going to get this right. That's my thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. <laughs> all right. Look at you. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you sympathizers, get off my lawn.